I've always been fascinated by Formula One pit crews. They can stop a car, lift the car, take off four wheels, put back on four new wheels, pump it with gas, set it down, and let it go in just two seconds. I'm not studying Formula One pit crews, though. I'm a physician studying how we can improve the resuscitation from cardiac arrest in hospitals. Because each year, more than 3,000 people suffer from a cardiac arrest in Danish hospitals. And only one in three will survive. And I will tell you that if we want to resuscitate more patients from cardiac arrest, we need to learn from the Formula One pit crews. And what is it that we can learn from the Formula One pit crews? Well, if you look at the Formula One pit crew, they will always have the same amount of people for each task. They all know each other. They all have the same training, the same experience. And they know when this is being said, this is being done. In contrast, if we take a look on the picture in the bottom here, we see a resuscitation team trying to resuscitate a patient. These teams are not standardized and they do not know each other on the team. So if you look at two resuscitation teams in two hospitals, they'll be very different. In one hospital, there might be twice as many people as in the other. And in yet another hospital, they will be twice as experienced as in the first. But the interesting thing is that it's not only the teams that differ in hospitals, it's also the quality of the resuscitation and the chance of surviving a cardiac arrest. So in my PhD, we are combining data from observational studies, clinical registries, randomized studies, and also simulated resuscitation attempts. By doing that, we hope to find out not only how big should the team be, but also how experienced do they need to be, and how is it that we communicate in the best possible way when we resuscitate the patients. So by the end of my PhD, we will know how we can get the resuscitation teams to work a bit more like a Formula One pit crew and save more patients' lives. Thank you.